ghost here. So, I may not be an expert, I don't have a badge or anything, but I am a sculptor performer and I kind of wanted to make a video, I guess, for Identity V because I haven't before. I've been really into it lately. So, I was thinking about making a video about tip my tips for playing Galatea because I'm, I consider myself pretty good at her. So I'm gonna show you a replay of this match I played just now because uh, one, I'm pretty proud of it, and two, um, it shows a few things that are useful for Galatea, which I will explain because not all of it is here, but you know. So yeah, we spawn onto the map. Um, so I had a bit of trouble with this one because most of the players here are rescuers because, oh wait, no, all of them are. Um, so they're all rescuers. I was thinking of playing Yadara here, but that was not a good idea because, you know, rescuers, mercenaries fast, you know, get out of her range. Um, with Galatea, I'd recommend always using the sculptures because you see the sculptures at the side of the screen. They're not here right now, but um, whenever they are, like whenever you're actually playing and not watching a, a, a watch, um, watching this, there's a thing by the side where... It's got sculptures, I'm pretty sure you'd see them. Um, some go horizontal and some go vertical. Um, I'd always recommend using both of them at the same time because they can combine and make a bigger thing, bigger hit, like I guess, or like an easier hit, I'd say. Because usually it's not as easy to get a hit with the sculptures as you think it'd be. Um, but yeah, that's what I'd recommend here. Um, currently in the playthrough, I was focusing on sharing characters rather than pursuing because it's wasting my time. So that's another tip here, um, just for gameplay as Hunter in general. Um, pursuing kind of wastes your time sometimes. You don't want to do that. Um, right now, no one's really decoding, so it's, it's not that big of a deal, but um, there's it's just pursuing sometimes takes longer than you'd want. Um, it, it lets the survivors get more, um, I guess, they just, they decode faster, they decode more if you just focus on one person, so don't. Um, <laughs> right here I kind of lost the gravekeeper, um, because he was in the ground, I don't know, I think I already left him. Oh wait, no, I'm going back. Um, uh, if you can see on the screen right there, he was right there in the dirt. Um, and I didn't see him, and I was looking for him. I couldn't find him. <laughs> um, oh my god. I watched- I rewatched this, and I felt really stupid doing that. He did try to do it again later on, but I didn't- I didn't fall for it this time, because, yeah, he'd fall into the dirt soon after. But from what I was saying on pursuing, the thing with pursuing is that it takes longer, and that gives the survivors more time to decode. That is not something you want, um, especially when, when you're playing Hunter. So what I'd say is, if you've got someone at half health, just focus on hitting the survivors. Don't always just focus on, uh, don't focus on getting, getting all of them. Like, don't focus on getting a four-man kill all the time, just focus on getting, mm, just focus on getting the half hurt survivors, or like at least injuring most survivors, because that gives you more points, and, you know, it's just better that way, it makes you feel better if you've got, I guess it makes you feel better if you get all the survivors, but you know, um, so right here, I'm kind of going against what I'm saying here, and I'm pursuing, but that's because he's at health health, and personally, yes, I love Jose. He's amazing. He's a great character, but gameplay-wise, he annoys me so much when I'm playing Hunter because, like, you know, playing as Hunter, you got him turning visible on you. Yeah. So, another tip I've got for Galatea is that, um, there's a thing you can throw. You can throw her weapon and make a graveyard. This doesn't happen in this playthrough because, um... Well, because they don't get to the exit gate in time, because <laughs> I'm just that good. No, I'm really not. Um, but she can throw her, I don't remember what it's called. She can throw her weapon, and it makes creates a graveyard. Um, do that with the exit gates. Because you can throw it pretty far. Um, you throw it to the exit gate while you've got a survivor chair or in general, just because, like, 
instead of teleporting, you can check if survivors are there, and if they're not, you should go to the second exit gate. It's a smarter idea to do than just straight up, um, just straight up going there or teleport. Well, teleporting is a good idea too, but it's easier because it's a little more subtle. So, um, it's just, yeah. Plus, you, with teleport, you never know which one the survivors are at because they barely ever make a noise while they're there. So, it's easier to just, um, it's easier to throw your your um weapon and get it over with then because it, it's always a pain in the butt when you're playing hunter and um yeah you teleport to the wrong thing and then the other one's all the way on the other side of the map and it's just ah uh, it's a whole handful of stuff and it's boring and not boring it's just a little annoying i guess um but yeah so those are some tricks i've got for her also um usually make the wheelchair back um translucent it's not translucent here because it's a it's a it's a watch like i'm watching the playthrough but um always make sure that it's translucent because if it's not like here um it's harder to see the survivors um if they're like like sometimes it zooms in a bit whenever you're breaking a pallet or something so always make sure to keep that thing translucent like i said currently it's not because um watching a playthrough. Sorry, I, I pause a lot. I say um a lot. Um, it's my first time actually recording my voice into the video. Um, yeah. Oh, I keep saying it. I keep saying it. Oh, right. Here's the point where I said the gravekeeper tried to do it again, but I did see him this time, thankfully, and I didn't look like an idiot this time. Boy, I can imagine what he was thinking whenever I, whenever I straight up searched for him for a while. <laughs> So to focus on the gameplay now more than just like the tips, I can I, I might just talk you through this because there's still a bit of time left on the video and I just kind of want to get all this in here because yeah, I'm kind of proud of this playthrough. Um, so currently I was looking for one of the mercenaries or the first officer because yeah, they're the last ones left. I saw them over here and I tried to, and a good thing with Galatea too is to stop some healing, scare them off with the, um, Scare them off with your sculptures, that's a better thing, that's a good thing to do, because a lot of the time, all the hunter mains, we've all been there, um, you're a little ways away, and you see the survivor healing, and you're like, oh, I want to get to them, I want to stop the healing, and then it's like, boom, they're up, and it's like, no! <laughs> so, just, yeah, using the sculptures with Galatea to scare them off is a really good tactic, I find, to get rid of that. My dumbass didn't notice the mercenary <laughs> runaway there as well. Of course, I would have noticed if it showed the names overhead and the survivors overhead currently like it does in this, but it doesn't. Uh, boy, that's the only reason why I like playing Geisha. But we're not talking about Geisha in this video. Also, can we just like talk about how fine Galatea is? Like, ooh, she's pretty. We love her. She's got nice hair. She's got a nice outfit. She's got a nice chair. Oh, yeah. She's just, she's so cute. <laughs> I'm using a trial card on this costume because I, uh, I didn't get it from the season and I was really heartbroken because it's so cute. And now I only have the default costume and I have a thing with default costumes. Sure, a lot of them are really good, but, um, with most default costumes, I, um, uh, I'm like, oh, I look boring. I want to look cool. I wish I was swag. Yo, I'm so spying right now, you know that one? Yeah, um, so I, I'm using up all my trial cards from the daily stuff for this most of the time, because it's like three days, yeah, and as a sculptor main, yeah, also just like a little thing in her hair, is so cute, bro, um, I would have won this match if I continued over to stop that mercenary from healing, but I didn't, because... You know, the chair was almost finished, and I was like, yeah, just wait here for him. <laughs> Except even his shoulder pads to get over, I think. Kind of startled me. I don't know if that, I don't know if this is the point where he did it, but he did it one time. I, maybe it was earlier on. Nope, it was here. Speaking of mercenary, I think that I remember the first time I played mercenary, I felt so bad because, um, I went to save someone, and <laughs> I didn't know how to use his elbow pads, and they were still on, so I bounced off the chair, 
and the chairs. Let me tell you, the guilt I felt in that moment was immense. It was painful. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, he escaped from the dungeon here. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helped. Um, I don't know if it did, but I really hope it did. Um, if it didn't, yeah. Uh, let me know in the comments if you want more videos of identity gameplay and tips. Uh, because I actually enjoyed making this one, so yeah, see ya!